trying the auto park feature right now and it's working it was a little off at first so like it backed up then pulled forward and then backed into the spot look how much space we got in the trunk here for these groceries actually very focused like it, it seems like a, a system that pays way more attention to driving than an average person does anything crazy happens I take control so I just felt like it was going a little bit too fast around this corner look at that beautiful view of Charlotte Wow but it came up on this hill a little fast. Personally, I would not drive at any barrier that quickly. So I took it off by autopilot. I'm gonna show you guys some of the things that I've changed, just small things that I've customized so far. Got this on Amazon. It's the American flag in like a black and silver. I thought it was pretty cool, so I got that. We got 25% uh, ceramic tint in the front and then 22% in the back. I did end up getting a little bit of curb rash right here. <gasps> Unfortunately, I told myself I wasn't gonna scuff this. Like I heard other YouTubers have had similar problems. I just told myself, yo, well, if I get this car, I, there's gonna be no curb rash. I'm not gonna do it. But the way that the rim and the wheel are set up, like it is so easy to curb rash this thing. So you really just gotta watch out. We got tons of space in the back. It came with the charger. I love that it has a charger with it because apparently the 2022 and moving forward models might not come with a charger. So that's interesting to see how they'll do that. I got my skateboard, basketball. I got a car cover under there as well. So if I ever travel, if I ever go somewhere camping or in a snowy environment where it might get pretty bad, I got a car cover. And I recommend all of you get a car cover as well so you can protect your investment. Look at that beautiful sunset. This has been, it's been great. It's been great. Um, one thing that I noticed that you don't actually have to press this to open it. When you have the charger in your hand, if you, if you press the button on the charger, it'll open for you. A lot of people don't know how to use the door handle. Just push here with your thumb and the door opens and then you pull like that. So when we come in here, Plenty of space, feels really nice, really luxury. One thing I really love about these seats is that they also kind of recline. So if you pull this trigger here, the seat goes back quite a bit. So you actually end up with a lot more space. Most of the times you see the front passengers, their seats are gonna definitely be reclined. So if the, the fact that you can get the back seats to also go back, recline, it gives the whole entire SUV a more sporty feel. Love this roof because that thing, you don't feel any sun when you're driving. These are seatbelt covers that I had in my previous vehicle, but I just switched them out, put them in the Tesla. So I folded these seats down and look at the amount of space. This is, this is me actually chilling in the car like i can get like a nice soft bed frame kind of mat situation here you can definitely fit two people in here you can comfortably fit two people in here and i think it's the coolest thing ever all right youtube here it is we got the car center console i also got the tesla door light yeah the star of the show the center console. I'm gonna go ahead and switch this up today. You know, it attracts a lot of fingerprints and it gets real dirty. Um, so I got one for each part. This is for the wireless charger. This one's for the center. And then this one's for the cup holder. So let's take a look at these and see what they look like. Oh, so unlike the last one that was a skin, this one is a this is like a hard cover shell. All right, so this 
This is a hard piece. This isn't vinyl. Sticky tape on the back. So I'll take those red pieces off and then let's take a look at how this fits. Yes. <laughs> wow. Use my link when you're buying your Tesla Model Y, Model X, Model S, or any of the other ones. You can go ahead and use my referral link and we'll both get a thousand miles of supercharging. So here it is. This is the charging pad area. And then lastly, we have the centerpiece. That changes the whole dynamic. This looks so much more expensive. All right, so other than this, I also plan to change this wood, probably change the wood to carbon fiber as well. And then we're gonna switch this steering wheel for a yoke. Yeah, it's gonna look really nice.